Hello, today I'm going to implement the remember me function into our login form. This is our project and task management template that we created before. You may check out the previous videos how to create this login form. Let me explain the system. Remember me function is based on recording users computer and user names into our users table. Then after on every opening of database system compares the active users computer and user names. If both parameters are matched the password and username filled automatically. Let's see how it's done. The first step is to create two fields in users table. One for the computer name and one for the username. Both fields should be string. Now opening the user login form in design view put those fields into the form we will hide those fields later and I'm going to add a checkbox changing the caption as remember me and the name will be check remember And default value will be false. The next step is to write some codes to on click event of the login button. The name is command 24, I won't change right now. On the on click, on -click event, after the password check, We will add remember me code. When the login is successful, I mean after the password check, if the checkbox checked, active users computer and login name will be stored in the users table. If not, those fields will, those fields will be cleared. Now I'm going to add a little bit code into the form load event of the login form. This code runs at the beginning of each opening and reads the system information and compares it with the user's table. If found, both parameters are matched, goes to the user record and fills the user information automatically. Now let's make a test. Okay, username and password fields are empty at the beginning. Select the user. I will write the password and check the remember me option. Hit the login button. Now system should write the information into table. We will check. Now the computer name and username information is written into the Thomas Lecter's record. Now start again. As you see Thomas Lecter and password information is filled automatically and login form is ready. We will hide those two fields at the bottom. Systems work, but the image is not refreshed. So I'm checking the code. Yes, we should set the visible. We should set the image 
visible property is true go to the login form and the form load event paste the code at the end of the now uh, before set focus yes image user visible is true let's make another test now it's empty start again Sarah Connor is checked the information should be stored on the table I'm closing and open again before I forgot to set those fields not visible Let's open it again. Okay, opening. And Sarah Connor and the password information is written automatically. That's it. Now we will continue to make new videos for the login system of this database. I hope this part is useful for you. Thank you.